Next generation AI technology outsmarts doctors with more accurate diagnoses and better bedside manner. In a revolutionary development, Google's Articulate Medical Intelligence Explorer, which we can call Amy, essentially an artificial intelligence healthcare system, is proving to be a game changer in medical diagnostics. Trained to engage in diagnostic conversations, Amy is reported to outperform human doctors and physicians in simulated conditions, marking a potential revolution for AI in healthcare. But before we get into the details, if you have not done so already, please click the like button below and also don't forget to squeeze the subscribe button. It'll only take you two seconds to do that, but it'll help the algorithm so that you don't miss out on the content we're creating. It will also encourage us to create more content for you and we truly appreciate your support. As the healthcare landscape evolves, AI is emerging as a transformative force in healthcare's new frontiers. Amy, a diagnostic AI system, stands out for its capabilities in optimizing diagnostic dialogues and enhancing the accuracy of medical diagnoses. Developed through advanced machine learning and natural language processing, it promises to revolutionize patient care. The physician-patient conversation is a cornerstone of medicine in which skilled and intentional communication drives diagnoses, management, empathy, and trust. AI systems capable of such diagnostic dialogues could potentially increase the availability, accessibility, quality, and consistency of care by being useful conversational partners to not just cl clinicians, but also to patients. But approximating clinicians' considerable expertise remains a significant challenge. In a recent study, actors portraying patients, unaware whether they were texting with real doctors or Google's Articulate Medical Intelligence Explorer, overall preferred how the AI handled their medical conditions and questions. According to the study, which was published January 11th on a scholarly distribution website called ARXIV. A panel of doctors, meanwhile, also found Amy to be more accurate at diagnosing the patients than actual physicians. To my knowledge, this is the first time that a conversational AI system has ever been designed optimally for diagnostic dialogue and taking the clinical history evaluation from the patient. Evaluation of conversational diagnostic AI. Besides developing and optimizing AI systems themselves for diagnostic conversations and how to assess such systems is also an open question. Inspired by accepted tools used to measure consultation quality and clinical communication skills in real-world settings, Google constructed a pilot evaluation rubric to assess diagnostic conversations along horizontal and vertical axes pertaining to history-taking, diagnostic accuracy, clinical management, clinical communication skills, for relationship fostering, and empathy. Google's AI-generated system, the Articulate Medical Intelligence Explorer, Amy, outperformed primary care physicians on multiple evaluation criteria for diagnostic dialogue, including higher empathy in conversations. In the study, which although has not been peer-reviewed, Amy went head-to-head -head against 20 board-certified clinicians in diagnosing 20 actors impersonating patients exclusively through text conversations. Although the actors weren't told whether they were chatting with a human or an AI bot. So the fake patients were then asked to evaluate their experiences across 26 metrics. Across 149 simulations, the actors preferred the AI system over traditional doctors in 24 metrics, including, believe it or not, empathy. At the same time, a panel of specialist physicians also evaluated Amy across 32 different metrics. And Amy scored higher than the diagnosing doctors in 28 of them. So I'd like to take a second to talk about what is artificial intelligence for those of you who may not be aware of it. 
Artificial intelligence is a form of processing that simulates human intelligence via machine learning to carry out data analytics, natural language processing, and more. AI has the ability to consume and process massive data sets and develop patterns to make predictions for the completion of future tasks. While the interest in AI around the world is growing, the science poses an existential crisis for jobs, companies, whole industries, and potentially human existence. Now, recent progress in large language models, which are also called LLMs, outside the medical domain has shown that they can plan, reason, and use relevant context to hold rich conversations. However, there are many aspects of good diagnostic dialogue that are unique to the medical domain. An effective clinician takes a complete clinical history and asks intelligent questions that help to derive a differential diagnosis. They hold considerable skill to foster an effective relationship provide information clearly, make joint and informed decisions with the patient, respond empathetically to the patient's emotions, and support them in the next steps of their care. While LLMs can accurately perform tasks such as medical summarization or answering medical questions, there has been little work done specifically aimed towards developing these kinds of conversational diagnostic capabilities. Inspired by this challenge, Google's team developed Amy, a research AI-based system on an LLM and optimized for diagnostic reasoning and conversations. Google trained and evaluated Amy along many different dimensions that reflect quality in real-world clinical consultations from the perspective of both clinicians and patients. To scale Amy across a multitude of disease conditions, specialties, and scenarios, the team developed a novel self-play-based simulated diagnostic dialogue environment with automatic feedback mechanisms to enrich and accelerate its learning process. Google also introduced an inference time chain of reasoning strategy to improve Amy's diagnostic accuracy and the quality of its conversations. Google says that it has tested Amy prospectively in real examples of multi-turn dialogue by simulating consultations with trained actors. Now, where can Amy help us, you may want to ask. Access to clinical expertise remains scarce around the world. While AI has shown great promise in specific clinical applications, engagement in the dynamic conversational diagnostic journeys of clinical practice requires many capabilities not yet fully demonstrated by AI systems. Doctors wield not only knowledge and skill, but a dedication to medical principles, including safety, quality, communication, partnership, teamwork, trust, professionalism. Realizing these attributes in AI systems is an inspiring challenge that should be approached reasonably and with care. Amy, as I said, is Google's exploration of the art of possible, a research-only system for safely exploring this vision of the future where AI systems might be better aligned with the attributes that I mentioned earlier of the skilled clinicians that are involved in our care. It is still early experimental only work, not a fully baked in product and has several limitations that we believe merit rigorous and extensive further scientific studies in order to envision that future where conversational, empathetic and diagnostic AI systems might become safe, helpful and accessible. So folks, medicine is just so much more in collecting information. It's all about the human relationship. It is to be noted that Amy could be a useful tool, but that interaction with the doctors is still an existential need. The patient-physician conversation is a, a cornerstone of medicine in which skilled and intentional communication drives management, diagnosis, empathy, and trust in the whole process. AI systems capable of such diagnostic dialogues could increase the availability, accessibility, quality, and consistency of care by being useful conversational partners to clinicians and patients alike. Amy's success in simulated diagnostic conversations shows the promise potential of AI in revolutionizing healthcare. While the system outshines human doctors in certain aspects, 
let's not forget that it's important to approach this technological advancement with caution. While the results in a simulated consultation may be promising, the real-world application of AMI requires a lot of further exploration. Recognizing its potential, medical institutions worldwide, I hope, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, will be increasingly adopting AMI or a similar technology. However, the effectiveness of the system in diverse and real-world scenarios has yet to be confirmed, emphasizing the need for more rigorous, ongoing research. There you have it, folks. I read about this and I wanted to bring this out to you. And I also like to know what you think of how and where we are proceeding with artificial intelligence and our health in general. Even if you don't agree with what I've said, I'd love to hear your comments. We can still have that meaningful dialogue to process this, this technology and to move this forward. I'd, I'd appreciate your support. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us for more informative and valuable content. We work a lot harder to get this information to you. So we appreciate you watching us. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.